I said to Apostle yesterday, I need a word. What am I doing here in Makati? And twice in a short while. That's how I feel today, honestly. I, I feel, studying my team, that I don't really know why I'm here. Maybe you do, maybe God knows. But the closest to how I feel is that you, you are like in a season. The many ways I could, I could paint the picture I see about you. So in a way, you are like a Jehu. You're like a Jehu. And how I feel right now is like a Jehonadab. I feel like Jehonadab, the son of Rechab, minding my business with the Rechabites, teaching them how to stay sanctified. But then something in, in Jehonadab's heart was yearning for Jehu. He was sick in Jehu. And Jehu said, ah, is your heart with me the way my heart is with you? Man of God, my heart is with you. And I'm here to join your chariots and see the wild way in which you ride. Man, you ride. I don't know who used the word they described you. You ride like a... <laughs> you ride like a man. So we're here to see how you ride and, and to follow you to Samaria. To ride with you on this journey. The Lord said to me that you are like a lonely man in the realm of the Spirit. You're like a man who's proclaiming what many people don't even know still exist in the kingdom like a man who's declaring that which many have forgotten. You're like a man who's speaking as his, as his mouthpiece. But like Jehu was warring, you're also like a Jeremiah. And the Lord said to tell you that he has made you a defense city. He has made you an iron pillar. And he has made you a brass war that they will come against you but that those who come against you will fall for your sake labaduna masuka bantala kire suta bahala kire lejine mantele kuza batik I prophesy over you man of God I prophesy the next season of increase that's coming the Lord give me a word that you're a bulwark. I don't even know what that word really means. But in the realm of the spirit, I saw a bulwark. You are a bulwark in the realm of the spirit. And I, I don't fully know the history or the geography of this area. But what I do know is that like things happened on the mountains in the past. And the hand of the enemy was so stayed. It's like God calls you to the mountaintop experience again. To stay the hand of the enemy. It's like there is a, a dual call upon your life. There is a natural call and a spiritual call. A bulwark in the realm of the spirits. Defending territories for the kingdom of God. A bulwark in the realm of the spirits says the Lord. Creating a template for the kingdom. Creating a plumb line creating a sound of truth and a bulwark in the natural I hear the Spirit of God say and that extension is coming an expansion is coming and I see a hand raising boundaries of states and causing your influence to move from one section of this geographical metron so I see I see that God is increasing your metron, your level of faith, your level of capacity. So I've come to announce a new season has come. It's a season of acceleration. It's a season of increased velocity. It's a season of increased momentum. And with the momentum is not just speed. Momentum speaks about a combination of mass and velocity. So what has happened is speed has come. 
but with speed has also come a weightiness with speed comes a realm of cupboard Lord says this day do I increase your cupboard it was like the last time I came angels like fresh angels were coming even now there even is a change of angelic guards around you because the warfare intensifies but God says your protection is in the place of war your protection is on the war front and do not say I am alone says the Lord I said to my servant Elijah there are 7,000 today I speak to you there are men I'm raising who will stand with you as a bulwark who will stand with you and declare and defend the precepts of the kingdom so arise my son and rejoice in this hour this is a time of war but it's also a time of rejoicing because I have given you the victory even before the warfare so lift your hands and understand that it is me who is at work to will to do my good pleasure and my good pleasure is to take territory I use you only as an instrument in my hands uh, to extend uh, my boundaries uh, to extend my spheres influence uh, it is me who's working it is me who's writing it is me who's moving it is me who's declaring you are just my mouthpiece and in this season I make you my oracle I increase my weight upon you I increase my glory around you men seek for glamour I will give you glory men seek for fame I will give you honor I will give you that which only I can do so lift your hand in this season lift your heart and rejoice for what I am doing says the Lord God your influence has increased your voice has been heard over the nations but now do I move from your voice alone to territory I shall give you territory that shall speak of my kingdom of my power of my honor of my glory says the Spirit of the Lord to you man of God oh la bodas you should name Mozuka Bakura Basika de Kita. You should the Kira Basuka Bakita Makita Sikata. Ain't any Sika de Bakura Sikata. You should the Kura Masata and the Hire. Likida, Lord, we intercede for your servant. Lebodo Kazika de Bakura. Thank you for the depth of revelation you've given to him. Thank you, Almighty God, for the depth of insight and understanding he has. Thank you for this mantle, this fresh mantle that rests upon him. Lord, we bring an ancient grace. We bring, Almighty God, Lebodo Kadakisa, that which you have given us, O oh God. And we join to his, O oh God, in this season. Lesina Makura Sikada. Glory to your name, our Father. Hallelujah. Amen. I know there are servants of God here. I greet you all. I salute you all. Hallelujah. Wow. The International Eagles Conference 2024 is currently ongoing and it's a week long conference. It started on the 20th of May 2024 and will end on the 26th of May 2024. If you can, please try to partake in the conference either on site or online. What the powerful prophecy that unveils a new season and to bring an encouragement to the heart of the man of God, Apostle Arumi Osai. Recently, during the partnership 5.0 at Liberty Church London by Pastor Fola Shola Alade, where Apostle Arumi Osai ministered powerfully during the program. Pastor Shola Alade gave almost similar prophecy to Apostle Remy Osai about the new season, the attack that will come from the enemies, and also the expansion of his influence over territories and continents. He revealed to him that his work was to bring clean, sterilized, and purified water that will bring strength, life, and vitality to the people of Africa, and it is also to dig the bowels of pure and true apostolic teachings. While it is to expose fake and false prophets, Bring down the operation of diviners, masquerading as the mouthpiece of God, and shut down false ministries through his apostolic teachings in America, while his major assignment in Europe is to redeem the wells of revival. I believe we all listened attentively to the new prophecy by Apostle Pudinirapo. This is a time for every one of us to uphold the mind of God by our prayers. This is a great task given to him by the great Lord, and this can only be fulfilled with spiritual energy, strength, and divine resources. He said the enemies would come against Apostle Remy Osai, but the enemies will fall for his sake because God has made for him 
is the fence city, iron pillar, and brass wall. If you are an ardent follower of Apostle Romans' teaching, you will know he has zero tenants for falsehood as he strives for the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. Apostle Tony Rappu revealed that he is to defend territory for the kingdom and bring sound truth to the body of Christ. And this is a new season of extension and expansion of influence, level of faith and capacity, and acceleration and speed. He then said, Apostles should know that he is not alone. God is raising men who will start with him and declare and defend the priesthood of the kingdom of God. It is a time of war, but also a time of rejoicing, because the victory has been given. Wow, what a great season to be part of. Please, my viewers, be serious with your work with God as the journey to the betting of true apostolic Christianity continues. Kindly share this video with everyone, like this video, and also drop a comment. I remain my humble self, Olawali Ayomide Ogundobi, the admin of the Great Light Channel. Remain blessed. Amen.